my name is uh, Dr. H. M. Agrawal. I am a consultant radiation oncologist. I have done my MD from Tata Memorial Hospital in 2006 and I now have almost 14 years of experience in the field of uh, oncology post MD. I am working as a full timer here at Itharth Hospital, uh, Noida and Greater Noida. Uh, I would like to brief you something about the facilities available at Itharth Hospital for oncology patients. Well, oncology patients have to be treated at a, uh, at a multi-specialty hospital. We all know that. And I would just like to reiterate the fact that oncology patients need not just one person to treat. They need a team of uh, physicians and a multitude of services to get optimum results. So, for example, when a patient of cancer or a suspected cancer comes to us, first of all, we have to establish the diagnosis. And to establish this diagnosis, we need a array of a battery of tests in the form of X-rays, CT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, and we also need a biopsy. And we need a good support from the lab to establish those diagnoses. So the first step in the cancer is to establish a diagnosis. Uh, here at our hospital in Yatharth, we have all the facilities under one roof. So this is the the. The fact that I'm going to uh, underline in my talk over the next few minutes, how is the team important in oncology and that we have all the components of the team available under one roof. So your patients don't have to go here and there for any kind of uh, further investigations or referrals. Everything can be done under one roof. So we have the best qualities of CT scans, MRIs, ultrasound, x-rays, and we have a lab equipped for immunohistochemistry and uh, uh, tissue diagnosis. And after that, once we get the final diagnosis of the patient, confirmed diagnosis, we need to stage the patient, uh, what stage the cancer is, and then the appropriate treatment has to be decided in the tumor board. Uh, in the tumor board, we meet the patient along with all the specialties like uh, nuclear medicine, radio diagnosis, pathology, uh, medical oncologist, surgical oncologist, radiation oncologist, and even the um, medical social worker, caretaker, all these people sit together and we formulate the best line of management for the patient. This is very important. So the positive side here at our hospital is that we have all these people under one roof and we can decide the line of optimum line of management as per the patient's disease, patient stage and then formulate the best line of management so that we get the optimum results, best cure possible with uh, minimal uh, side effects. So this is the underlying theory behind this. Uh, for cancer patients, the main three pillars of treatment are uh, surgery, <coughs> uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. And besides that, immunotherapy is sometimes required. <coughs> These are the main three pillars. But besides that, we sometimes need the support from uh, other uh, uh, specialities who help us in diagnosing or treating such patients. So for example, if I start from above, uh, a patient of brain tumor will need the uh, services of a uh, neurosurgeon most of the times. The neurosurgeons will help us in diagnosing these patients and in resecting out the cancers whenever possible. And after that, further treatment in the form of chemotherapy or radiotherapy can be required. Uh, at the same time, for example, a patient of CA lung, he will need the services of a pulmonologist who can do a bronchoscopy biopsy and assess the size of the tumor, take a tissue diagnosis, and even on follow-ups, he should be able to assess the size of the lesions and whether the patient is doing well or not. PFTs can be required and so on and so forth. A patient of uh, GI cancers, for example, a patient having <coughs> cancer in the oesophagus, stomach, intestine, rectum, these patients will need the help of a GI surgeon. <coughs> so these patients have to be seen by a GI surgeon or a gastroenterologist who can do an endoscopy and a biopsy for these patients. And sometimes even surgeries are required where you know early stage cancers can be totally resected. And after the surgery, we can plan the further adjoint treatment in the form of chemotherapy or radiation treatment. And we are fortunate here at Ithar that we have the entire team under one roof, and uh, the patients can get the best results uh, with uh, minimum possible under a minimum possible time and minimum effort. Thank you.